Biological control is when humans purposely manipulate populations of beneficial insects to manage undesirable insects or pests. Beneficial insects are only one of many factors that keep insects populations in check. Natural control by beneficial insects or other environmental factors happens regardless of whether humans are aware of it or not. Wild pests can be defined as any species that interferes with human activities, properties, or health. Forget a stalking lion or hungry shark. In nature, there's nothing scarier than a dragonfly deciding you're its next meal. That's because, according to new research, dragonflies nail their prey up to 95% of the time, trouncing the anemic kill rates of other top predators. A dragonfly swoops through the air to catch its prey midair, tear it apart, and immediately begin the search for their next meal. Several new studies point to brain, eye, and wing coordination that allows dragonflies to fix on a single insect in a fluttering mass and surprise attack it at speeds up to 30 miles an hour. It rarely ends well for the insect. Why the sudden interest in dragonflies? Much of the research is supported by the US military, which, the New York Times reports, sees the dragonfly as the quote, archetypal precision drone. They have two spikes grasping four legs in which prey items are carved and held securely. When adult, they can easily grab adult croquettes, adult lockers, and a big cockroaches. The mantis has three life stages. Egg, nymph, and adult. This process is called incomplete metamorphosis because there is no pupil stage during development to an adult. The nymphs resemble the adult. After mating, female mantids, like this Chinese mantis, produce egg cases. An egg case can be about two to three centimeters in diameter. There can be up to 400 mantis eggs in a single egg case. The female mantis attaches the egg case to branches where it overwinters until spring arrives. The nymphs hatch from the eggs as the weather gets warmer. They exit the egg case through an opening Many of the nymphs do not survive more than a few hours. Since a mantis's body continues to grow, but its exoskeleton does not, the insect must go through a molt, where it sheds its old exoskeleton. A soft new exoskeleton forms under the old one and hardens after the mantis finishes its molt. A mantis nymph can molt up to 10 times. The mantis grows with each molt. After the last time the mantis molts its exoskeleton, it will have its full grown wings like this Chinese mantis. Generally, it can be found in rainforest and tropical dry place. It suppresses populations of various pests of perennial crops in the Southeast Asia. It tends millipods and coquettes associated with many plants.
it is active day and night, foraging on the foliage or on the ground.